everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Be very, very happy because I did make it through this week before I had to turn my laptop in to the shop and get it fixed. Now, I'm really hoping that I will be able to make videos for next week, but there's no guarantees right now. Keep your fingers really, really, really tightly squeezed and crossed where you can see the veins popping out. And you start to feel pain and the bone might, you might see bone peeking out. Um, other than the fact that's, um, that'd be really bad. Uh, but just do that for me. Alright? Please? It's gonna be hard to type, but it's okay. Alright, okay, I can't type this way. This is better. Alright, today we're going to actually work on making these little product buttons. What the? We're going to make them actually buy stuff. Now, again, we can't test it today. But I can almost, like, 98% guarantee that they will work. So let's go to the product price and go to the script again. Ah, not the name. There we go. Alright, now script dot parent uh dot head dot touched connect function hit now this is all pretty standard stuff and stuff we've all done this millions and millions and millions and trillions and quadrillions of times before in luba but we're gonna do it again now all we're going to do is char equals hit dot parent if char find first child uh, first child humanoid and game that players get player from character char then alright so we've all done all of this kind of stuff before in fact I think we did uh, one or two one or two videos ago I, I'm not exactly sure which one it was um, but we did do it recently. So it, it, this is not nothing new. I don't feel I need to teach it to you. I hope you guys can figure out. If not, please go back a couple videos. Like, it's either Tuesdays or... I, I want to say it was Tuesdays video. It might have been yes... Uh, it might have been Wednesdays. I, I, I'm not too sure. Uh, but you can watch both videos. I'm pretty sure they're both short. So hopefully you'll enjoy them. Um, but to the task at hand, all we're going to do is check if the player that money that value oh fail if player dot money dot value is greater than and we'll actually make a variable up here as well uh, right under the remove because we want that to be done really quick and you know what actually we need one more line this is just a safe a safety net here this line repeat or actually script that parent that parent let's see it's script that parent that parent mm, nah actually it'll be better to do it this way repeat wait until script that parent oh, that parent that product that value does not equal nil and this is just going to make sure we don't do anything until the product for that has loaded otherwise we're going to get a ton of errors we're gonna be like no what's wrong because it'll work for some things but not others and we don't want that anyway on to the real thing I was doing here local price equals script that parent that price that value so if player that money oops actually we need player that leader stats that money that value is greater than price that, and actually we need greater than or equal to then and player that leader stats that money that value equals player that leader oop, not capitalized leader stats that money that value minus price and we don't need that that value there sorry um, and we're also going to make um, product that parent equal um, script that parent that parent that parent so one two three yeah yeah script that parent that parent 
that parent. Because once they buy something, we don't want it to go back into products. Products is meant specifically for stuff that hasn't been bought yet. Everything else can go directly into the tycoon. So product that parent equals script that parent that parent. Because remember, product up here is a clone of what they're purchasing. So right now it's just floating in space. Only Roblox really knows where it is right now. Um, but once we actually give it a real parent that's in the workspace, it'll be visible to people. Um, so that that's what we're doing there. After that, um, oh, there, there's one more check we gotta do. Make sure player dot name equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot owner name dot value because we don't want just any random person and make sure there's an and we don't want just any random person walking into a tycoon and then accidentally spending their own money to help somebody else when they didn't intend to that's what a donate button is for and we will be getting to a donate a donate not donut although donuts are really good but we'll be getting to a donate button later on in this series. Don't worry. But um, that's all we gotta do for now. All right. So this should work. There's always that off chance, but I just finished a tattoo and I think it'll work okay. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button and I will hopefully catch you guys later on Monday. Keep your fingers so tightly crossed that it hurts. Bye.